video, we will understand uh, how to connect to an Azure Artifact field from uh, Visual Studio and configure the field as a source for uh, packages uh, wherein you can publish and view packages you know, from this particular source. So again, this will all be practical. You'll be able to follow the steps. And if you have seen my uh, previous videos on Azure Artifact, you would have already created a field and manage and set and configured. So follow the steps and uh, and connect to the field using uh, Visual Studio. Uh, Hi guys, welcome back. My name is Chaitanya and you can call me Chai. I have more than a decade and a half of experience with software development as a developer, tech lead, architect and various other roles around designing and delivering software products. Again, to understand the steps required to connect uh, the Azure Artifact field in Visual Studio. For this purpose, I have the field which I created in, my, in one of my previous videos. Uh, you can you can click on the link uh, in the description to uh, view uh, the basic videos on Azure Artifact and how to create a field. Uh, and also I have a sample code which I have created uh, here uh, in Visual Studio and I have it open. So to get started, uh, you can go ahead and select your feed and then say connect. So Azure Artifact will show you various options depending on the technology and the ID that you want to use. Uh, it will provide the steps to follow. So since here I'm using Visual Studio, I will select Visual Studio and it gives me the steps that I can use. Going back to Visual Studio, uh, how do we manage package sources uh, in Visual Studio is by go to, going to Tools, NuGet Package Manager, and Manager Settings. Here, under NuGet Package Manager, go into Package Source. As you can see here, right now, NuGet.org is what is enabled, and which means that all your NuGet packages are downloaded from the third party or the global source. So I'm, what I'm going to do is, do is remove a NuGet as a source and then add a new source. I will call it as the name of my field and copy the source URL from the steps. So I'll do a copy and I'll paste the source under source. Now when I click on update, Depending on if you're logged in or if you if you're not authenticated, it may ask you to log in, and then once you are authenticated yourself, it would be added successfully. So what I'm going to finally do is uncheck NuGet R and just select Academy field to ensure. And basically, I'm I'm indicating Visual Studio to always connect to this field for any NuGet packages. Now I'll click on OK. Now if I go back to manage NuGet packages. And if you notice here, it would just show me the academy underscore field with no other source. Now, if I go and search Newton soft, right, it would go ahead and so what basically is, is happening is, is go, the Azure Artifact field is going back to the NuGet global source and trying to search because it didn't find anything in the academy field itself. So it will go uh, search uh, in, in, the, in the current field. If nothing is found with this name, it would go into the NuGet org and uh, get the packages. So now these are the packages available from on the NuGet global store, but you know, you're able to see that here, even though you're connecting to the academy underscore field, uh, so that you, know, you need not have to manage multiple, so multiple, uh, package managers and everything. All you need is one feed, academy feed, and then or one feed for a project, and then it can entirely connect to multiple feeds and have one uh, view for the user to search, find, and uh, include packages. 